support the uh, resolution that uh, Nick McConnell brought forward. Uh, one, one thing I want to say about this and the occupation movement around the world is that this is a time of courage. And people, this is a movement of the heart, a movement of the imagination. What is the world going to look like? And what can we do to create it? We know the system is broken, so this is what we're trying to have. It's a national conversation, a worldwide conversation. And because it's so big, it needs, it needs a long time for us to figure out what the elephant is in our living room. This is the first time we've actually sat down and talked about it. Um, I am uh, an, I'm a professional urban design planner and landscape architect uh, working here in Seattle and Tacoma. Uh, so I approach it from a design standpoint. The, the economic inequality and law, uh, legal inequality in our country are such that they're slowly eroding the commons by which we have the ability to exercise our freedom of speech and assembly. So as I, when I, as I design public spaces and things like that, and looking at the ordinances, I'm finding that many of our commons are being whittled away one by one. So we need to return to these kind of policies that allow people to stay and speak their mind to power whenever we have a chance. The larger issue about, occupant, about the occupation movement <clears throat> is that this is about sustainability at its deepest level. We, have, we want an economy and an economic structure that supports all of us. We all also need to understand that you know, the financial system and the laws that we have are fighting the ability for us to have food security in every nation of this earth. And it's the food security in our neighborhoods for us to be able to feed each other, take care of each other, and move forward to the future. We cannot afford not to have this conversation. We don't have time. I would go so far as to say that the future of our planet depends on passing this resolution and sending a message to the rest of the world that we care about our children's future. We care about our community. We care about each other. <laughs> the power of our movement actually comes from the understanding that the love of our country and the love of our freedom and with each other is there and is stronger than anything that we can use that would use violence. That's why we stick to nonviolence. It's this love that's going to take us through this wall, and we need you to pass this resolution. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Joseph Helster, and uh, boy, there's a lot of articulate people who have pretty much said anything I would say. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to you all and to encourage you to keep the police peaceful. We don't want to repeat another WTO. We will try and keep our people peaceful peaceful as well. So, thank you. Thank you. Followed by Forrest Hawes and Apis Bradford. Hello, my name is Kwan Baxter and I want three things. The first thing I want is for all material labor from any project that the city of Seattle embarks on to come from America. The reason I want this is because other countries' income, health, and safety standards might not align with ours. The second thing I want is for the city of Seattle, by whichever means is in its power, to oppose the unjust and decade-long wars of Afghanistan and Iraq. One way that they can do this is by barring military recruitment centers until every single American troop is outside of Afghanistan and Iraq, that we stop bombing Pakistan and Yemen, and until America follows the Geneva Convention. The third thing that I want is that in 2000, Microsoft lost its suit because it didn't properly give the benefits to its temporary workers. What it was doing was hiring workers through outside agencies and not giving them the benefits. Since they lost the suit, what they've been doing is they still have the temporary workers, they still do not give them the benefits, they just require them to take a 100-day break every year. What I want is for the workers to get the benefits deemed to them by law, if not for this 100-day break loophole. Uh, please have some resolutions and concrete steps for positive change. Thank you very much.